Hello everybody, welcome back to Watch Time, it's been a long time, um, and I've been through several different watches since you saw me last, obviously the one I'm going to talk about today is this here, now all of you will know what this is, or certainly the watch collector people will know what this is. It is a moon swatch and it is basically almost completely taken from the Speedmaster design other than the fact it is a uh, bio ceramic case and a cool colour. Obviously it comes on this velcro sort of plasticky strap rather than a bracelet or a uh, NATO or a leather strap as well. So. Um, yeah, Omega Swatch, as most of you will know, uh, Swatch do own Omega, so that's why this um, collaboration happened, and just to kind of reiterate some basic info on this, it was um, announced a few months ago, I'm not sure on the exact date, um, and people got very, very excited about it, because it was just something new and quite revolutionary they come in many colors as well and yeah people people just uh became desperate to get one of these things and the only place you could really get them was from the retail uh swatch sort of shops the the storefronts as far as i'm aware they've never actually been available to buy online or if they have in very limited supply so they're actually quite hard to get. Now, as you would expect in this industry of uh, flipping and uh, resale, you can get these at a much higher um, price on the used market or the gray market. So this one here was acquired as a second hand piece. Uh, it's, I didn't get this new. In all honesty, I tried in several countries when i was abroad to get this watch i tried um it, two city two cities in germany so actually it was the same country to get one of these uh i tried in london to absolutely no avail so i did get this on the second hand market now interestingly in my case i didn't go to ebay i didn't go online it was a million to one chance i walked past a local shop here called cash converters which is basically along the lines of cex that sort of thing sell second hand anything and they do have a watch section and i regularly go in and have a look because you do sometimes find some really interesting watches for a very low price and then there was this sitting here and this just so happens to be the exact model that i wanted as well and the reason is that it looks very much like the Alaska Omega watch with the bright red huge case so it follows the same color scheme and I absolutely love that so this was the one I wanted um, and I, it just so happened that I was lucky that it was there so just to give you an idea this is what it looks like on the back obviously this is the mission to Mars edition as you can see there and it has the uh, a little sort of battery cover with a Mars looking uh, disc on it. I'm not going to go into the ins and outs of what a Speedmaster is. You know what it is. Um, one of the most famous watches. The watch went to the moon. That's as far as I go with it. We all know this. They've done an excellent job in making it as close to a Speedmaster as you really can. I suppose it is a Speedmaster, but not in the truest sense. Um... So in terms of my review of this piece, I actually really, really like the thing. And I know it's made from bioceramic, which is a composite material. And yeah, it's not steel, but it doesn't feel inadequate. And you don't feel worried to bash it. It doesn't feel fragile, it feels strong and it feels reliable. I love exciting colours and watches and you even if you don't get this edition 
there are many other interesting colors to be had um so I, I do believe there's a version out there for everybody in terms of color so swatch and omega have done really well with that the strap itself yeah that this is a part where the quality seems lesser i'll admit it's it's it, it really is just a plastic strap with some nice kind of branding on it but it is just really plastic and velcro that being said extremely functional very easy to use um and in terms of quality in you know reliability not failing not breaking well it hasn't at all so clearly well designed to last that being said it is only a few months old so with time will tell but it does appear to be well designed and well made so i, I like it and of course you would be able to put any strap on it that would fit with the same look width so you have a lot of options there um now i don't want this review to be too long because i'm only just finding the time to start doing these again but basically my my the outcome of this review is that just keep your eyes open because you'll be surprised where you see these things i was shocked to see this where i did especially in the city i live in it's not really a um sort of a, a well-off city where you would see even an omega for sale full stop never mind an omega boutique a swatch boutique anything like that so it was a really unusual thing to find so do keep your eyes open you'll be surprised what you find if you always look and the other thing is yes people have said this will never be like the real speedmaster the omega thing that's true but then again this is what less than five percent of the cost and you get all of this for you know five percent of the cost and i really do think that's an excellent deal apart from that the only thing to mention is that i like about this is the loom is excellent on these watches it's really nice and accurate and bright and the chronograph works perfectly well so my overall feeling is if you can get one why not it's an icon i don't imagine there'll ever be a point in time where people will look at this and go Oh yeah, remember them, they were they were terrible. I don't think that's gonna happen. Um, although I'm not an expert, so I would like to hear below what you all think about this. And I would like to thank everybody for their comments. It's it's been amazing. Some of the views I've had on this channel are, are pretty shocking, they're amazing. And um I do appreciate that a lot. So let me know what you think about this watch. For anyone below who has got one of these and has any different thoughts, please do add those in. But for now, I will leave it, and I do apologise that the quality of the uploads on this channel is so bad. I have limited technology, and yeah, it's these are just straight off the cuff, so hopefully you enjoy that, but I'll see you all next time.